Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good evening, everyone. Today we will start a new series. We will talk about the medical physics related with the Department of Dentistry. Let's start with the first slide. We'll be talking about the contents, what the important topics we will pick. Let me just confirm the slide. Yes, the terminology. The first thing is the terminology, what that means related with, with what we'll take some examples. Mod, well, after that, we'll focus on the modeling. It's important. We will illustrate what that means by using, by using some examples. Negative or balancing feedback control, measurements, kind of this measurement, how we can use it, made from what, what the benefits from them, accuracy and pers uh, precision and what the difference between them, the last topic is false and uh, positive and negative false. Uh, we'll focus on what the difference between them, what uh, all of these means to us, what the disadvantage, what the, I can say what the side effect of them, all of these made from a physician. It's a mistake from the uh, physician. Let's go to the next slide and start take deeply information about these topics in the content. First thing is terminology. Uh, at first, let me illustrate important thing. Some doctors, let me say, near future will be doctors, uh, always have adopts about what the relation between physics lectures and our topic, our goal to be good dentist in near future. Actually, all the science have strong relation with each other. For example, um, uh, physicists, when I was researcher, I spent two semesters with chemic department with I, I take soul gel process and after that another uh, semester was talking about how we can calculate the important values about my contents and how we can start with a specific number of all of the important elements so we have strong relation with all the science, chemics, physics, medicine, engineering. Uh, if you decide to complete your study by, let's start from master, this, this, this start from this stage, uh, some topics, if you select them, maybe you will need to take some course with engineering department that a simple evidence to my words all of these science has strong relationship with each other let's go deeply to our topic uh the medical physicists we have two kinds of them the first one is the application of physics to the function of a human body related with human body what well, that's mean human body, that's mean disease and health. And the second name to it is physiology. It is physics of the various organ systems, such as eyes, ears, lungs, the heart and circulatory system. The second one and the last one is the application of physics in the practice of medicine. That's mean by this way, the physicist, the, it's, we can say it's uh, physics therapy. That means we will avoid using drugs by some techniques, some training by using, let's say, heat or water machine. It includes such things as the physics of the stethoscope to you can measure some important things related with this ill person, with this sick person. 
you can measure the hertz pulse sure we will use the stethoscope everyone saw it the stethoscope sure it's didn't made from a doctor it's made from another department the tapping of the chest something like banding terminology it's another slide i'm talking about the terminology and uh, let's me let me keep going on uh, the medical application of laser ultrasound radiation machines heat light sound electricity x-ray mri all of these are will be our near future topics all of these has uh, independently lecture independently lecture okay note what that's mean I'm, uh, mri it's something like looks like x-ray it's magnetic resonance imaging okay actually all the dentists use this technique to can take clear imaging to ill teeth okay today any physician after taking a medical history what does mean medical history uh when you any patient any ill person compare complaining from something uh the first thing you will ask him about or her doesn't matter about if you using drugs if you did a surgery before your age if you have a sensitivity from a specific medicine i don't know all of this is related with the medical history and it's important. Today, any physician, after taking a medical history of a patient is to give him a physical ex uh, examination, exercise, let me say. During that, we'll use the stethoscope, taps the chest, uh, measures the pulse rate and others. All of these, it's covered the case of the medical history to the ill to the sick person medical history to can measure to can be sure from important things uh, everyone know if you have a surgery and you must do it before that the physician will come to take your heart pulse to be sure you are ready or not, if you heard polls, it's more than 120. I think the doctor will decide or prefer to to don't do the surgery today. That means heart pulse measurement is important and has a great effect of your life. And other medical history of patients. What that means, I answered this question. I was talking about the medical history. Let's go to another and be some hairy. Physical medicine deals with the diagnosis, treatment of disease and injury. By means of physical agents such as massage, exercise by using heat water all of these related with physical therapy that's mean here at this department prefer to don't use the drugs we'll use another exercise another machines another means to can avoid giving any drugs physical therapy is the treatment of disease or bodily weakness why bodily weakness? Some athletes did or doing uh, accents by match, I don't know, fight, doesn't matter. Some of these cases, uh, a bad weakness, uh, injuries, 
I don't know. The physical, the physician will focus to treatment this weakness by physical means such as massage, gymnastic rather than by drugs or use machines by specific exercise. The field of medical physics, radiological physics, physics. It involves, it's from two parts. The first one is involves the application of physics, physics to radiological problem. It's focus on radiological problems. The other one is the use of radiation in the diagnosis and the treatment of disease as well as the use of nuclear medicine. That means we will try at this department to treatment, to treat the ill person by use the nuclear radiation. Okay. And it's different from the first one from branch A. At branch A, it's applications of physics to problems comes from radiological. But here we use this radiology, this nuclear radiation to focus some problems. And the first and the second branch and the last is radiation protection. What does that mean? That means health physicists, uh, protection or protect who? Protect the workers, the patients, and the general public. Here, it's focused on two parts. Uh, the first one, let me say, the persons who severing from cancer because some accident i don't know the other the workers who are working on a nuclear place okay this branch uh, has to Yes, let me say A and B. The first one, the patients severing from this tumors. The other workers who are working on nuclear and radiation places. Like I said before, also include radiation protection, a protection outside of the hospital such as around nuclear power plants and in industry. Last one is medical engineering or medical physics, such as application of ultrasound. Uh, we have a dependent lecture talking about ultrasound as ultrasound in medicine and what is this machine, how we can use it, what the important principle of it, and the use of computers in medicine. All of these related with the medical engineering, medical physics, we can say. Modeling is important. Modeling, what that mean? Modeling, we use it to simplify a hard topic to our students. Let's take some examples. Here, the mathematical descriptions of some physical situation are too complex to permit solution. By that, let's take this example. It's very clear and important, in my opinion. If we do a small paper and small, uh, if you tore a small corner of a paper and let it fall to the floor, and we will do this exercise in the lecture to illustrate it and be, be better to the students. Okay, sorry. It would go through various directions. Why? 
sure we have some reasons what the physics say about that. Its path would be determined by the laws of physics, but it would be almost impossible to try the equation description, description to this path. But the most important reason is the gravity, okay? But why this tour paper takes different direction when it was followed out. Fall to the, sorry, fall to the floor, okay? Physicists would agree that the force of gravity would case it to go in the general in the general direction of the floor if some other force didn't interfere. Air current, but here we have another force interfered to this uh, exercise. These are air currents and static electricity would affect its path because that this tour paper take this different direction when take the way to fall to the floor, fall to the floor. Physicists often teach and think by analogy, that's fact. For example, when I illustrate some important information about electricity, to the engineering student, let me say, or in high school, I always use the water, the water direction, the water flows, the water in the pipes. And I saying, I'm saying uh, the electricity has the same, the same, how I can say, how I can say that, uh, the same characteristic when flow from point to point. The same phenomena with water inside the pipes. That is specifically its analogy. To simplify the electricity movement by use another simple words, another simple phenomena, it make easy to student to understand. For example, in many ways, the eye is analogous to the camera. Always we analogy the eye with camera. It is compared to the retina light detector of the eye. So analogies are often used to help explain some aspect of the physics of the body. Uh, actually, in my opinion, it's not just specifically to physicists. Uh, about the dentist department, dentist department, and when you will be a dentist, inshallah, in near future, when some eel complaining from his or her teeth come to you and you will discuss some information about his case, you, your patient uh, is not a dentist and it's not conditioned if he or she graduated from college or maybe from high school because that it will be difficult to explain some idea you wanted. Because that, you will use simple words to illustrate your idea to your patient by avoid this case, avoid the cold water, don't crash a hard thing. Because what? Sure, you will use simple words to illustrate the reason. This is analogy. That means the analogy, it's not specific to physicists, okay? Note, here when I illustrate 
the electricity movement to my students by use the water pipes. It's a great to simplify this phenomena. Okay, but the analogy is still poor because can't cover all the important idea to this phenomenon. Some models involve physical phenomena that appear to be completely related and unrelated to the subject being studied. For example, a model in which the flow of blood is represented by the flow of electricity, like I said before, is often used in the study of the body's circulatory system. Here, the teacher, the advisor, doesn't matter, illustrate by using modeling to say, to illustrate the circulatory blood system by simplify this phenomena and say it's some huge 